Hi, I'm David Love with Sunwise Power and Battery, and in this video I will discuss declination, the difference between magnetic north and true north, and why that matters for maximizing your solar production. Let's address why it's important to face solar arrays south. In the northern hemisphere, solar panels will achieve maximum possible electrical production when they're facing true south. That's because, on average, the sun shines directly over the equator. So if you're north of the equator, facing true south will maximize exposure to sunlight. It's not quite as easy as getting a compass out and pointing yourself south. The problem is the difference between true north and magnetic north. This difference is what's called declination. True north is the direction towards the geographic north pole, while magnetic north is the direction towards the magnetic north pole. This is a wandering point in the Earth's magnetic field, and your compass will direct you towards magnetic north. The position of magnetic north is always shifting, so it's important to find and use up-to-date information. A handy way that I look up the information for a given location is to visit the NOAA website. They have a great tool where you can find up-to-date local declination information for anywhere on Earth. If your location has an address, all you need to do is enter it and the tool will find the latitude and longitude for you. The link to that tool will be in the video description below. In this example, we have entered an address for a location in New York. Once we hit calculate, the tool tells us that the declination is 12 degrees west. The result shows the difference between magnetic north and true north. However, we're looking at the position of true south versus magnetic south. This is where it's easy to get confused about declination. Here's an easy trick that I use. If we look at the results for New York, it shows true north is 12 degrees west of magnetic north. What I do is I just ignore the west part and just remember the 12 degrees part. In the United States, the Mississippi River splits the country in half, and we think of it as eastern and western United States. It's also the, about the line of zero degrees declination change, where true north and, med, and magnetic north are close to the same. So areas east of the Mississippi, such as New York, face the solar panels east of south by the indicated degrees, 12 degrees in this case. For areas west of the Mississippi, face the panels west of south by the degree shown in the report for your location. The goal of all of this is to get close to true south. If you're within 10 degrees, then your array will be about 98% of maximum production. But getting as close as you can will help your loads run year-round. Feel free to contact us at www.sunwise.com. Thank you.